Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are diving into a powerful machine learning algorithm that has made waves in the world of data science, Adaboost. Whether you are a beginner or experienced data scientist, understanding Adaboost is crucial for building robust and accurate predictive models. But what exactly is Adaboost? Adaboost, short for Adaptive Boosting, is an Ansible learning technique that combines multiple weak classifiers to form a strong classifier. Think of it as a term of experts working together, where each expert focuses on their areas, where others might have made mistakes. So by the end of this video, you will be clearly understand how Adaboost works, why it is so effective, and how you can implement it in your projects. So we will start by breaking down the concept of boosting and how Adaboost fits into this category. Then we will dive into how the algorithm adapts by assigning different weights to each instance focusing more on mistakes made by a previous model. This unique approach helps us to reduce errors and improve model accuracy significantly. To make things even clearer, we will walk you through a practical example, showing you step by step how Adaboost can be applied to solve real world problems, whether you are working on classification problem or trying to improve your model's performance. Adaboost is a technique you will want in your toolkit. So stay updated and by end of this video, you will not only understand Adaboost, but also feel confident in using it to boost your own models. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before we start, if you want to learn AI and ML from the industry experts, try Simplian's postgraduate program in AI and machine learning from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. This course teaches in-demand skills such as machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision, reinforcement learning, generative AI, chat GPT, prompt engineering, and many more. So don't forget to check out the course link from the description box below and the pinned comment. So without any further ado, let's get started. So what is boosting in machine learning? Boosting refers to the process of creating a strong learner from a collection of weak learners. A weak learner is a model that performs only slightly better than random guessing on the training data. By iteratively adjusting the weights of the training instances, boosting algorithm assigns higher importance to misclassified instances, forcing subsequent weak learners to focus on these challenges samples. The final prediction is determined by aggregating the prediction of all weak learners with higher emphasis placed on those that demonstrate superior performance. So now move forward and see types of boosting in machine learning. Types of boosting algorithm. The first one is Adaboost, adaptive boosting. Adaboost is the most popular boosting algorithm. It assigns ways to train instances and adjust these weights based on the performance of weak learners. It focuses on misclassified instances, allowing subsequent weak learners to concentrate on these samples. And the final prediction is determined by aggregating the prediction of all weak learners through a weighted majority vote. The second one is gradient boosting. Gradient boosting is a widely used boosting algorithm that builds an ensemble of decision learning. The third one is XGBoost algorithm, which is also known as extreme gradient boosting. XGBoost is an advanced boosting algorithm that combines gradient boosting with regularization techniques. The fourth one is light GBM, light gradient boosting machine. Light GBM is a high performance boosting algorithm that uses a leaf wise approach to construct decision trees. So, now let's see what is Adaboost algorithm. So, there are several machine learning algorithms available to address your problem statement, and Adaboost is one of these powerful predictive modeling techniques known as adaptive boosting. So, Adaboost is an ansible method in machine learning. It commonly uses decision tree with just one split, often called diffusion stumps as its base estimator. In this approach, the model initially assigns equal weights to all the data points. It then increases the weight of the incorrectly classified points. In subsequent models, these points with higher weight are given more attention. The process continues training new models until the overall error is minimized. So now let's see working of Adaboost algorithm. So this image illustrates an example of Adaboost algorithm using the data set provided. Okay, so this is a classification problem. Since the targeted column is binary, initially each data point will be assigned an equal weight, as you can see, 1 by 5. Okay, so the sample weights are calculated using this following formula. 
and here and denotes the total number of data points okay in step 2 we will first assess how well gender classifies the samples followed by evaluation of how the variables age and income perform in classifying the samples for each feature we will create a decision stump and calculate its guinea index the tree with the data lowest guinea index will be selected as our first term let's assume that in our data set gender has the lowest guinea index making it our first term so in step 3 using this approach we will now determine the amount of say or importance or influence for this classifier in categories data, data points using this formula okay here the total error is just the sum of misclassified data points sample weights if there is one incorrect output in our data set thus our total error is 1 by 5 and the alpha performance of the stump okay using this so now we will find out the performance of the stump so using this formula here zero represent a flawless stump while one represent a bad stump so according to this graph where zero is misclassification there is no error hence the amount of say alpha you can say will be a huge value okay when the classifier predicts half correctly and half incorrect the total error is 0 0.5 and the classifier segments amount of say equals to zero okay and if all the samples were improperly categorized the error will be quite large about to one and our alpha value will be negative integer okay negative integer you can say minus two okay in step four you might be wondering why it's necessary to calculate as terms total error and performance the reason is straightforward we need to update the weights because if the same weights are used in the next model it will yield the same result as previous one the weights of incorrectly predicted points will be increased while those of the correctly predicted points will be decreased okay more emphasis will be placed on the points with higher weights so after assessing the classifier significance the total error we update weights using this formula new sample weight equals to old weight multiplied by amount of say alpha okay when the sample is successfully identified the amount of say you know alpha will be negative and the, when the sample is misclassified the amount of alpha will be positive you can say here plus and minus there are four correctly categorized samples and one incorrectly classified sample so in this case the sample weight of the data point is 1 by 5 and the quantity of say performance of the gender stump is 0 0.69 okay so these are the following new sample weights okay so this is the adjusted weight for incorrectly categorized okay 0 0.3988 so here the total sum of the weights must equal 1 but the updated weights add up to 0 0.8004 to normalize them we divide each weight by 0 0.8004 making the total sum equals to 1 after normalization the data set weights now sum to 1 okay see now sum to 1 so in step 5 we must know how to create a fresh data set to see whether or not the mistake have decreased to do this we will delete the same weights and new sample weights column and then split our data points into buckets based on new sample weights okay and in step 6 we are almost done here the method now selects random values between 0 to 1 since misclassified records have higher sample weights so they are more likely to be selected let's say the algorithm randomly selects the number 0 0.38 or 0 0.26 or anything next we will see where the these random number falls within the weighted range and create our new data set so this is our new data set so in step 7 the, the new data set will be used to repeat the previous steps start by assigning equal weights to each point identifying this term the best classify the sample of calculating the guinea index and selecting the one with the lowest value so assume we have sequently built three decision trees dt1 d22 and dt3 using our data set okay so when we run our data set through these trees the class with the majority will be determined and we will make prediction based on that so with this we have come to end of this video if you have any question or doubt please feel free to ask in the comment section below our team of experts will help you as soon as possible thank you and keep learning with simply learn staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling 
Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.